Fresh box of Monarch Unlimited. Now, Kate. A muse, yeah. Muse. All right. Which half would you like? I'll, I'll take the that one. All right, grab it. Yeah, I realized that after I did it. All right. Okay, that is beautiful. Yep. Man. Loot boxes. No, no, no. Surprise eggs. Surprise eggs. For adults. For adults. Okay. Who's opening the first pack? Um, you can. All right. We are, uh... Gonna open them a very specific way as practice. So we like to put the boosters actually back together to play limited. Um, spin through all of these cards. So we got a foil yellow Warmongers recital, Aether Iron Weave, got a Writhing Beast Hulk, and a Rise Above. So nothing terribly special out of that pack. Let's do it. We get to the foil. Heart muscle, so we got a rare foil. Ironhide plate, valiant thrust, plow through, and an iris. So we got three rares in that pack, which is pretty cool. All right, a bit of pack number three. I'm gonna lose count at some point, without a doubt. Oh yeah. All right, we got a ravenous meat axe. Something very satisfying about saying that out loud. All right, that's pretty cool. I got a uh, foil rare dimensional gateway. Dimensional gateway. <laughs> it's a blue. Um, so that's pretty cool. Invigorating Light and Dusk Path Pilgrimage. So two rares, three rares in that pack. You're just copying me. Oh, this one was already split. Uh oh. Must mean it's a good one, yeah? Yeah. I've already inspected it and put the fabled in there. Yeah, and re then resealed it. And then resealed it. It's a professional thing that they do. A little bit of glare on these cards and just move them over. Oh, that shows the rainbow floor off nicely. Yeah. We got me. We got prison. So we got, oh, Joshua like that. A rare Seeds of Agony. Uh, foil Seeds oh, of Agony. Tell me it's red and I'll be very happy. It's, it's a red one. Oh, wow. A halo. Unhallowed rites. And we got a Mythic Tome of Torment. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's a bit of debate about that card, whether it's actually any good or not. <laughs> Well, it's a red one, so that's usually... Well, if there's only the one of, of that one. Um, mythics don't usually come in a play set of colours, mm. right? Because there's there's too few mythic slots. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you can play it from your banished uh, pile and it just nets you a card. It's kind of like awkward though, because it's only one card. It's like, is it... Because if you draw it, it just replaces itself. Yeah. And is that bad or fine? And if you, if you mill it into your, sorry, mill is a magic term, but if you get it into your banish zone. But that's like, pretty, pretty shiny. Yeah. I can't really make it foil on May camera. I see it? Yeah. Yeah. I've actually, oh man. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty nice. I've got a nice little foil spotlight right here where the foil gets nice. shown off. <laughs> yeah. All right, over to me. Yeah. Pack number five. We've opened three boxes of Flesh and Blood so far, and we haven't seen a single Legendary, which uh, means that this is box number four, and it's one in every four boxes, right? Yeah, sort of guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's Carry, how, that's ca how, carrying husk for sure. That's how um, uh, odds work, right? Yep. All right. Foil Hungering Slaughter Beast, common. Time Skippers. 
Uh, we've got a seek horizon and an out muscle, so nothing really exciting there. My special ones here. Yeah. Um, I can go over the top. The mythics we wanted to sleeve. Oh, you, I've got that one. I can sleeve that while you open if you like. Okay, number six. Oh, my phone's telling me to move back. Yeah, well, I'm struggling, okay? Fine, chill. We got some comments. We got a hungering slaughter beast as well. Foil. Stubby hammers. Soul reaping. Dimensional gateway. Excellent. What color dimensional gateway? Blue one. Okay. And a ravenous meat axe. I think I just copied you. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. This is, I just got two rares that time. Yeah. Unfortunately, I already have a soul reaping from the uh, chain. Um, starter deck, or whatever you call it, or Blitz, Blitz starter. Yeah, there's a lot of glare right there. I'm trying to find a place to pop my foils. Um, my foils separate. Yeah, I'm trying to have like my common foils, and then I want to have my rares there, rare foils kind of like nearby. I've got a different mm -hmm. angle to you, so. Yeah. All right, pack number seven. All right, I've already busted this one, so I'm not going to stick to my ways of opening them properly. All right, let's see here. All right, Foil Illuminate, it's uh, not a great card or anything, but that's a very nice foil. Let's see if I can get the foiling. It's quite pretty. Can I see? Yeah. And I know, okay, I've got Soul Harvest, Tremor of Arathiel. So again, just double res. No Mythics for me just yet. So I'm in the lead. Does that mean? Oh yeah, you're winning. Right? Yeah, I guess you're winning. Yep. Because I also got a rare foil. I got a rare foil. Oh okay. All right. So this is pack number eight. Should keep track by how many foils I've got there. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna go a writhing beast hulk rare foil. Nice. Who's of the Shadow Beast? I haven't heard that. Yeah, it's Levia's equipment. Uh, Pulping and Captain's Call. Captain's Call? I'm not familiar with that. It's a choose one with Go Again. And we've got Pulping. I haven't seen that one either. Yeah, so it's like a pummel. But, um,. More like a razor, razor reflex. Sir Bolton of Breaker of Dawn. Yeah, they have another side too. You should be pulling out both sides. Oh, right. It's, I was kidding. You don't need to. Crappy Bolton. I don't think people really care about the seconds. <laughs> Beyond uh, their first box. All right, so this is number nine. All right, let's see, Seek Enlightenment, Foil Yellow. I've actually already got a Foil Yellow Seek Enlightenment, but that's cool. Who's the Shadow Beast? All right, we got a Yellow How From Belong. Ooh, a Mythic, Phantasmoclasm. Um, so that's an Illusionist, Illusionist Mythic. Ooh, I like the sound of that. It's actually pretty cool. So it costs three attacks for nine, and um, you actually look at the opposing player's hand and put one of their cards on the bottom, so it's like got built-in protection against the Phantasm trigger. It's pretty nice. That's a cool picture too. Yeah, it's it's really it's nice. It's that blue-purple illusions color. It yeah. Is. It's a really nice treat on the card. Alright, number 10. We're a third of the way in. Uh, it's 24 packs. Oh, right. We're over a third of the way in. Dimensional crossroads foil. Perfect. That's Need a mythic that. foil. Yep. You want to get me a sleeve for that? I do. That's Dream a, that's, Weavers. You know what's crazy? That's my second foil of it. And we got Glisten and Prismatic Shield as well. 
Prismatic Shield's really cool. It's I think, a blue Prismatic Shield. Yeah, I think you should um, consider building that Prism deck. Just because it's like, we got Lumin Luminaris in our last box. Yeah. A cracked bauble as well. <laughs> Which, to be clear, does not have anything on the other no, side. No, it doesn't. Cause I'm just, because to you told me yeah. off. And I... <laughs> right. You want me to tell you off, I'll tell you off. I believe this is pack 11. Yeah. My sixth foil. I, lo I just love that card. Smash with Big Tree. It just it does exactly what it says it should. It it's does. Great. It's, it's very blunt. All right. Oh, my God. Legendary. <gasps> oh, wow. Is it a foil? Yeah, it's, it's actually one of the most expensive legendaries in the set. I think it is the most expensive legendary. It is the Illusionist. Don't, don't breathe on it. <laughs> don't breathe on it. It is the Illusionist legs. I see. So that is a very cool card. Wow. It's very powerful. That looks sweet. Yep. And a couple of rares. Who cares, right? <laughs> wow. Rats. Yeah, that's that actually uh, covers the box and then some. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So I should go back tomorrow and buy another box? Is that what you're telling me? For sure. We did it. Fourth box, legendary. Yeah. Can confirm it's one in four boxes. One in four boxes. Oh, look, I got Smash with Big Tree as well. Oh, but it was red. Oh, but look, look, I got my favorite card. Herald of Protection, <laughs> fuck that card, seriously. So to be clear, last night Josh and I played, I was playing Prism, and I literally played two... No, Wasn't no, it four of him? No, 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 I played I played uh, the two red ones twice because I pulled them from my graveyard. Yeah. So I played at least six of them. Yeah, I wasn't having fun. Okay, anyway. Oh, my God. I got cool. another Hungering Slaughter Beast foil, so that's a bit shit. Unless we want to play Levia. Out Muscle and Invigorating Light. I'm just playing with the foiling on this in the in the camera. It looks absolutely wonderful. Hatchet of Body, Bolton. But yeah. That was a beautiful card. So I got, I've got two Out Muscles, one of them is a foil. Great. I definitely need to build a tall deck. I keep, I, I have, I love these wide decks, but. Um, what do you mean by a tall deck? So a deck that like hits really hard with a single card a turn. Okay, so um, like Prism. Well, I guess like Herald Prism, but Prism's got a lot of other shit going on. Um, it'd be more like Levia, Reiner, like Dorinthia, like just the cards that kind of like hit um, for, for big, like I'll attack you once for 13 instead of like, Three times for four or whatever. Yeah. But I, I like going wide. I like the ninja and I like chain a lot. Yeah, All right. So you like to pick away. I do. And I like I like hitting with a mix of arcane and physical damage. I think it's just really annoying to fight against. So I got a foil stony wooden hog, which is nothing special, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, we got a valiant thrust and an unhallowed rights. So I'm not going to complain about opening all the rares because I did get a legendary. I've got, I've got two rares. You got two mythics. Two mythics. Okay. Yeah, you know, no, I'm not going to complain about only opening rares because I got... Yeah. I got this, was my point. All right, my turn. I've lost count. I think this is my seventh pack. I think that was 13, yeah. so yeah, this it's 14. So I've just adjusted all of mine so that you can see the, the names. Uh, you have to rewind on mine if you want to see it. Fuck you. <laughs> Ooh. I haven't actually seen the picture for that. Anyway, it was Rooster Torment. Oh, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. We got a uh, Foil Belittle. Okay. Gallantry Gold. That can go away. Vexing Malice and Seek Horizon. Ooh, and a Spectral Shield. Sweet. So nothing, nothing exciting in there. Okay. Yep. All right. So this is pack number fifteen. What's up, Milo? You cheering for us, mate? Milo, two legendaries. Two legendaries. Hey, look, we still got more packs. I more know. Than, I know. We could get more than one. We absolutely could. 
All right. I'm seeing lots of um, holes get filled for your prison deck, the right colors of uh, your heralds and stuff. Nice. So a consuming aftermath foil, uh, which is a foil rare, my second. There, we got a plow through and a phantasmify. So I definitely like the phantasmify for you. But uh, just more rares. Over to you. Oh, we've got one of those foils ready. Blinding beam. It looks really cool. If it I does, recall. yeah. And we got a battlefield blitz, and we got a mythic guardian of the shadow realm. Guardian of the shadow realm sounds like a levia, a levia card. Shadow defense reaction. Just leave it up for you. Yep. Okay. Battlefield blitz is a Bolton card. If you charge this turn, battlefield blitz gains go again because that's what he does all the time. Really interesting. Like it feels like a card that could be broken, but it's just the cost is so high. The Guardian of the Shadow Realms, I can get. The rules up there. I guess I can try and get a nice clear, clear shot of Phantasmal Footsteps too. Yeah. It's in foil action. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful foil. I mean, they only come in foils, but uh. Oh, do they? Yeah, okay. legendary and fable only come in foils, but still, it's pretty good. All right, let's see. I didn't even realize that legendary is only foils. Yeah, they only, they only come in foils. They're rare enough, you know. Yeah. Um. Okay, let's see. Her <laughs> foil herald of protection. It's uh, the common one, but it's blue. Um, blue pitch. Got, I don't know, a red herald of triumph and the invert existence I want it. Great. So, uh, mythic over there. And red herald of triumph. Cool. Yeah, over to you. Let me see this mythic up. Red Screamer. Yeah. Well, that looks terrifying. It's no wonder this is set for 16 plus. We got a foil ghostly visit, which looks pretty cool. I'm trying to get the foil action on the camera. Yeah, boobs. Endless Maw and Merciful Retribution. Oh, I liked that last night. That was fun. And my bay prism with their weapon on the back. Down the last three packs each. Yep. Yeah, we've just we've set this shot up beautifully because this is just constantly showing off its foil. <laughs> so really nice. Just move it a little bit. Need it on like a little a pedestal. Yeah. <laughs> a little jar. <laughs> Alright. Go cracked bauble since the back is covered. All right, Convulsions from the Bellows of Hell, quite a descriptive card. Is that the whole name of it? Yeah, Convulsions from the Bellows of Hell. It's quite a long name. Yeah, it's uh, foil rare, which is not bad. Ooh, it's tiny text. Got a blue Howl from Beyond and a red Seeping Shadows. So not much to write home about there, but hey, we opened a Phantasmal Footsteps. It's so pretty. Battlefield Blitz foil, so it's a foil rare. Mm -hmm. That looks cool. Just doing some foil action. And we, we've got a mythic Dusk Path Pilgrimage, which is a rare. Yep. And we got Rouse the Ancients. Hang on, I'm just going to show it off. It's just a generic. It's a blue. Is that the one with like star for the power and toughness? It's an additional cost. 
may reveal any yeah, number 13. of attack action cards from yeah. your hand with 13 or more total. Gains plus 7 and go again. Got you mythics in the same group? Yeah. Okay. All right. I have two left. I got three in sleeves, four in sleeves actually, because I've got a foil one as well. I got four mythics. All right. Two packs to go. My second last pack. A blue Rifted Torment Foil, it's not bad. Dreamweavers. You gotta sing it. Dream oh, I got a Shadow Puppetry. So happy. Is that a Mythic? It's a Mythic and it's uh, a very good card for Chain. It's actually good for Viscera as well. Like, Chain Just is. a Shadow card, is it? Yeah. Next attack action card you play this turn gains plus one, go again and... If this attack hits, look at the top card of your deck, you may banish it. And that's a free cost. And it costs, yeah, it costs zero. Depends for two, so it's not perfect, but <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, it's basically perfect. It's pretty good. All right. My second last one? Yep. Just want her to say, what's this, a sideways card? That's the fatal one. Rip through reality foil. Cool. Is it red by any chance? It is a red one. Nice. And we got, ooh, a different chess piece that I haven't seen before. Blood drop brocade. We got how from beyond and convulsions of the ballets <laughs> of hell. Yep. Those are some gruesome looking pictures. Yeah. And a soft shackle. Is it a red how by any chance? A red hell. A yeah. red hell. No, it's a yellow hell. Yellow hell. Yeah, so I just got two reds. Nice. Can't, reds, yeah, sorry. Reds. So the one pack left. I've run out of room on <laughs> One pack left. All right, we'll do the suspense. Well, I've got a pack still. I know. But Maybe it could be the one. I, to be honest, like, we got our legendary and we got the best legendary. And it's a foil. The highest value. And but they're always a, foils. Yeah, but it's always a foil. So. Right. Um, yeah, there's definitely no complaints out of this pack, um, but we'll go through this nice and slow just to drag it out. Drag it out, yeah. Herald of Protection. Hell yeah. All right. What do we get? The foil, pound for pound. Nothing too exciting there, just the common. We've got a Halo of Illumination. All right, the reveal. It's a light card, it's Glisten. That's pretty good. Um, it distributes plus one counters to. Uh, we got a Bolton. To your uh, weapons, which is pretty cool. And we got a Bolting Blade Mythic. That is really cool. Man, that would be a. I mean, I'm very happy with it, but that would be a wonderful foil. That would look wonderful. All right, say so when. The when, last pack. When? It'll be a double rare pack again for you. Foil common double rare. Oh yeah. That's the most likely scenario. Alright. Smash with big tree. It's a good start. Well it starts strong with seeds start. of agony and then it goes smash with big tree. That's a strong start. Yeah. With a herald of tenacity. Alright, what do we get? Oh, a foil herald of tenacity. Oof. We got Valiant Thrust, and we got Seeping Shadows. Mm. So, yep, it's a two gray foil common and a chain at the end with a, a broom blade weapon. Awesome. But that is a cool looking foil. I've got its whole rainbow showing right now. Yeah. Pew, pew. Yeah, I was, I was surprised how few foil rares I got. Um, I don't know, maybe that's average. I just, I've seen a lot, like I've gotten a lot more in the past, I feel. Um, so I'm just going to review foil commons here.
the illuminate foil is nice. Foil rares, just quickly. This one goes straight in my deck. Alright, I'll do my foils. So I got two hungering slaughter beasts. They're different colours at least, but so these are all my common foils. That one has bobs. And that one's sweet. And then I got my rares and my mythic foil. Can't get that one to foil. Ah, oh, his lips go blue <laughs> foil. <laughs> That one's sweet, Battlefield Blitz. And then Dimensional Crossroads. But you can't see the foil because it's in a thing. You can still see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. All right, I'll go through my rares um, and then we'll go through the mythics. So Glisten, Seek Horizon, Howl From Beyond, Seeping Shadows, uh, Herald of Triumph, Phantasmify, Plow Through, and Hallowed Rites, Valiant Thrust, Pulping, Battlefield Blitz. How from Beyond, Soul Harvest, Tremor of Arathael, Seek Horizon, Outmuscle, Invigorating Light, Dusk Path, Pilgrimage, Riding Beast Hulk, and Rise Above. Over to My Mythics, Bolting Blade, love that art. Um, very much a Bolton card, obviously. Uh, Shadow Puppetry, I've been chasing these, so I'm glad to see one. Inverted Existence, I did want to have one of these in my deck, which is great. And Phantasmoclasm, which is just awesome for Kate. And your last one? You want me to do that? I'm not, not going to end on it? Yeah, we're so, going to end on it. All right. All right. Well, these are all my rares. This is not in any particular... This is in the order that I opened them in. Oops. So I got a, a second out muscle, but one of them is not a foil. One of them is a foil. Yeah, and same with Battlefield Blitz. That's a foil as well. I got two of those different varieties, or different colours. So that's all my my rares, and then I got my mythics. I got three mythics. Well, I got four, one of them is a foil. That's a cool picture. And a little tiny person there. So we got Tome of Torment, Guardian of the Shadow Realm, and Rouse the Ancients. Yeah, and I guess to finish off, the legendary that we opened, our first legendary, collecting flesh and blood. Yay! Yep, and it happens to be Kate's legendary. So I'm <laughs> sure she's happy with that. Yep. I think these are going for 130 at the moment. Yeah. Recording this on July 6, July 7. July 7, yeah. July 7. Awesome. Uh, so shout out to Mox Boarding House in Bellevue, Washington, where we purchased this box from. Yep. Support your local game stores. Thanks for watching. Thank you.